Hello, hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today we're talking all of my favorite products for when my skin is very upset. All right, I'm so excited. We're filming and we have AC. So I thought about wearing a turtleneck just to flex that, but I'm wearing my new spiritual gangster shirt that says I'm only here for good feelings, no bad ones. Amen, and that's how I feel about my skin. So today is a video that is dedicated to Erica. I feel like if you watch or listen to the um, Crime Weekly podcast, they call the people that were there in the beginning their day oneers. Erica is a day oneer, and I'm so happy to have her here. But we have been talking in the comments about doing a video on products that I use when my skin is angry. Listen, if I mention that I want to do a video and only one of you say yes, I'm doing the video, that's all I need. I also have a list of other um, requests that I'm going to be working through in the coming weeks. But I wanted to do this one because I have nursed my skin back from quite the state. If I can grab a screenshot, I will insert it here. I'm going to do a quick background about my skin and then we're going to get into products um, by category. So cleansers, serums, moisturizers, masks. But a little bit about my skin. I have PCOS, so I have a lot of hormonal breakouts, especially kind of from below my chin all the way back here. Very seldom do I break out in my forehead area. If I do, I know that it's product related. I also use a prescription strength retinol from my dermatologist, and that can leave my skin quite irritated, flaky, dry, just a mess. Underneath all of that, I have a little bit of rosacea you'll see on my cheeks. Overall, just very easily sensitized skin, and it gets in that state quite regularly, especially if I'm testing out different things. So when my skin gets sensitized or is just a mess, a lot of breakouts, these are the products that I go to. I strip back my routine to just some of these, but these are all products I know that when my skin is in that state, I can use and it's not going to make anything worse. Here's a disclaimer, I am not a dermatologist, I am not a doctor. I'm not telling you that these products will fix your skin, but the ingredients in these products are some that I trust on my very sensitive acne prone skin, dry, dehydrated, all of that. I will let you know if I think that the product's too heavy for oily skin, but I don't think there's a lot in here that fall into that. I also forgot to add in here that I'm coming to you sans makeup because I want you to see my skin. I will include, like I mentioned, screenshots of where my skin was at just a couple of weeks ago. It was pretty rough. So let's go ahead, jump in and talk about cleansers. So I have two cleansers here and they're the cleansers I use every single day. Whether my skin is sensitized or not, I can just trust them in either state of my skin. The first one being Vanna Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser. I've talked about this in a couple of videos. I have been using this for years and years and years. It is free of dyes, fragrance, masking, fragrance, lanolin, parabens, and formaldehyde releasers. It's non-comedogenic, gluten-free, and accepted by the National Eczema Foundation. Vanna Cream has been a staple for some people for like decades, and I absolutely know why. This is just a beautiful cleanser. This will break down your makeup and your sunscreen, but it's also super gentle and does not disrupt the skin barrier doesn't dry me out. I think this would be great for oily skin. It really cleanses without over cleansing the skin, if that makes sense. And if my skin is really in a state, I will use this for both first and second cleanse. On a day-to-day -day basis, I use this every day as my second cleanse. And it's like eight or nine dollars for eight fluid ounces. You can get it on Amazon and it is through the Vanna Cream company, so you don't have to worry about it being a fake. You can also get it at Target. Walgreens, CVS, any drugstore or grocery store. I love this so much. If you have skin issues, try something like this. You'll see that I try my best to avoid fragrance when I'm in a sensitized state. Not everyone's gonna have problem with fragrance, but it's just, I think, a good practice. Frank has entered the chat. Hopefully he's quieter than the last time. The second cleanser is from Beauty Pie. It is the Japan Fusion Pure Transforming Cleanser. This is also fragrance free and it, I just reviewed this in the Beauty Pie skincare series that I did. This is a kind of tri-phase cleanser. It starts out as a gel, turns into an oil, then turns into a milky cleanser when you emulsify with water. Super, super gentle and hydrating. If you don't have a Beauty Pie membership, what I would put in place of this is something like Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. Something that's super gentle and hydrating without being too hydrating because I would use this or Clinique Take the Day Off Balm on oily skin. 
but something like this that is a very gentle non-stripping cleanser that is fragrance free is what i would put in place of this sometimes if i know that i need an extra boost of moisture i'll use this but for the most part know that i am using this this is my ride or die as they used to say but that's it for cleansers let's move into a mask so I'm not a huge mask person, but I do want to talk about this and it's going to tie into a couple of serums, which I'll just grab now, just one serum. It is the Peach Slices Snail Rescue Intensive Wash Off Mask. This has 95% snail mucin, similar to the serum from COSRX that I use, which is the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. If you have troublesome skin, breakouts, irritated skin, Check out Snail Mucin products. I have talked about this at length in a couple of videos now. Both of these companies say that they are collecting the snail mucin in a very um, snail friendly way. They're not shocking the snail to get mucin as some companies were doing back in the day, but it says that this is a fast track to hydrated blemish free skin and an even glow, minimize the appearance of pores and dark spots. I love snail mucin for calming my skin and keeping it calm. I use the Power Essence every single night this I think is like $25 for 3.38 fluid ounces. I use like four pumps a night. I've been using this for a couple of weeks and I'm down to there. So it does last quite a while. So a more affordable option. Same with those cleansers. They're more affordable. This I want to say is around the $15 mark. I'll pop it up on the screen. But prepare yourselves because this is not a texture that you have ever felt before in a mask. It looks like a gel, but it is quite... Let me see if I can get this. It doesn't stick when you first touch it. It's just a very bouncy gel. However, when you hit this with water, it turns to slime. So I would recommend taking this off in the shower. But what I love this mask for is when I have a lot of those big breakouts that are like itchy and painful, this really seems to kind of take the inflammation down. So snail mucin, I don't know if I mentioned that, is gonna help with inflammation, calming, soothing. And I, there's just, I love it. And it says it's great for all skin types. This says 15 minutes, two to three times weekly. I use this as often as I want. Even when my skin is sensitized, I leave it on for a few minutes. Sometimes I leave it on for 20. I just highly recommend those. And Peach Slices is a great line. If you can't get your hands on the COSRX, these are both found at Ulta. The Peach Slices has um, a serum and a toner, very similar to the COSRX, but it has Centella Asiatica in it, which is added on top of what's in this one. So check out Peach Slices, they're pretty affordable. I think the serum is $13.99, so even cheaper than the COSRX. But yeah, check out Snail Mucin. I love it. That's like the biggest thing I'll say in this video. Snail Mucin, and then a couple other products that we're gonna jump into right now. So to get these out of the way, you want to hydrate the skin. So anytime that the skin barrier has been compromised and you're having sensitivity and just anger on your face, you want to make sure you're hydrating and giving your chance the opportunity to heal much like you put a band-aid on something and they tell you if you don't want it to scab up you need to keep it hydrated let it heal same applies to your skin especially if you have acne that has turned into open wounds a couple of very lightweight products that i would recommend for both dry and oily skin are from the belief line you'll see them pop up again i absolutely love belief they they have this herbal tonic in all of their products which is called the uh, napiers formula my skin loves it. Um, there is fragrance in the Belief products, but it has never caused any issues, especially when my skin is already sensitized. But it is their Aqua Balm Hydrating Toner, which is much, much more lightweight, but really does sink moisture into the skin. A very watery toner that you pour out into your hand. I have the small size, but the large size is, I think, $28, so again, under $30. And then the Believe Hungarian Water Essence. I want to say this is $38 to $40. It is much more pricey. But this one is a little bit more viscous than the... You see a little bounce. You can't see that. But this also feels super hydrating. I don't think you need both of these. I would choose one or the other. I tend to prefer the toner just because it's thinner, quicker, sinks in fast. But I really do like this one as well believe just for the win for sensitive skin for already sensitized skin i really love it acne prone skin across the board next i want to talk about two serums that have um, two different types of ingredients that i really love so these are going to be hydrating there's hyaluronic acid but there's also aloe baobab honeysuckle the napier's original formula there's just a lot in there that i recommend those kind of on their own 
But then as far as serums targeted to soothing and calming the skin, I love the Tower 28 Intensive Rescue Serum. This I wanna say is $34, $38. And you get what, two ounces? So quite a hefty amount, which is so funny because it looks little next to the Phytosurgeons, which is one ounce. Anyway, this has hypochlorous acid. If you suffer from any type of inflammation in the skin, hypochlorous acid is an excellent ingredient to look for in products. I also want to call out the Tower 28 SOS spray, which is $28. They also have refills for that. Mine is actually on my nightstand because I use that a lot. It's just amazing. But again, if you have inflammation, upset skin, and acne, hypochlorous acid is soothing, but it is also antibacterial and antiviral. I love this, it feels just like water on the skin it's kind of like a gel water i would say this is great for oily and um, dry skin this is not going to be your only source of hydration if you have dry skin you're going to need to lock it in but i really love that serum it's great and then the next ingredients that i want to get into are sea ingredients think algae sea minerals sea water sea salt my skin in particular really loves this from keeping acne at bay and helping heal acne. And my choice of serum is the Phytosurgeon C Submerge Hydrating Facial Serum. This is under $30 US for an ounce. I absolutely love this. You'll see that I am making my way through this. I think that this serum, the Tower 28 Serum and the COSRX Snail Mucin Serum, I use all of these every single day and these are what really helped seal the deal with getting my skin back to a much better state. You'll see I have some scarring left behind, but this is the clearest my skin has been in quite a while. But back to Sea Submerged, there's a lot of those sea ingredients in here. I love this so much. This is one of the more cost-effective sea-derived ingredient serums that I have seen. The texture is just lovely. It is great for oily and dry skin, but I will say that this is really going to lock moisture in more so than any of those other serums I just mentioned. I can't believe I'm wasting this. You'll see that it, it runs a little bit, but not much at all. And it has kind of like a jelly watery consistency. It's almost like if the Tower 28 SOS serum and the Belief Hungarian water essence had a baby. It's just lovely. I don't have to put moisturizer on right away when I use that. It's incredible. I absolutely love it. I can't say enough good things about it. Moving into moisturizers, this is where I have <laughs> the most to recommend to you. And I'm going to do it kind of by category. The first one I'll talk about is the Verdant Force Field from Phytosurgeons. This is 2.7 fluid ounces, so almost three ounces for 38 Canadian, so probably around 35 US for 2.7 fluid ounces. That is a pretty good deal. And it is amazing. It's the restorative moisturizer. I cannot tell you how much that is accurate. With green tea, licorice root, centella, PHAs, allantoin, and panthenol. So green tea is a great antioxidant for the skin. Licorice root is very soothing. Centella is very soothing. That's Sika or Centella Asiatica. Allantoin is also soothing and Panthenol is also a soothing ingredient. And the PHAs are going to very, very gently exfoliate and help with cell turnover to help your skin heal. I love this. It also has hyaluronic acid. It's just, this is a fantastic product. It will give you the glowiest skin of your life. It is a nice green texture like this. I would say it's very kind of gel-like when you start to um, spread it out and you're going to feel the presence. They say that this is elastic or mochi-like on their website and I love their descriptors not only are dead on but they're, they fit the innovation of the product. So I really trust in phytosurgeon skincare, especially with very sensitive skin. Jason, the founder, has struggled with skin himself and you can tell that in these products but once you work that into the skin. It is so hydrating. You feel a presence of something on the skin, but don't let that scare you if you have oily skin. It sinks in very quickly and you're left with just beautiful, glowing, hydrated skin. I love that one. And while we're talking about Centella Asiatica, I also really love the Beauty Pie Happy Face. Again, check out my Beauty Pie skincare series, but this one is a very gel-like moisturizer. I'm running out of space here. It goes into the skin beautifully. 
Beauty Pie does that thing where it's very hydrating on contact, but it locks in. I really love this. If you're super dry, you may end up using this more like a serum and putting something heavier on top, but I think it's great for oily skin. It has that um, Sika or Centella Asiatica for soothing. That is one of my favorite ingredients for soothing. So, so far we have hypochlorous acid, sea algae, sea minerals, Centella Asiatica. We have green tea. Those are the big hitters for me. What I'm getting at is you don't have to purchase these exact products, although I do highly recommend them. Those are some of the ingredients that I would look for if I'm looking for a product to help soothe my skin. Next, I'm going to knock these out very quickly. They are the moisturizers from Belief, the True Cream Aqua Balm and the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. These are absolutely phenomenal. These are the ones that I go to every time my skin is upset. I know that it will heal these. The Aqua Balm is much lighter. It is a gel-like texture. I'll show you there. You can see there's like a, it's hanging down. This is what I would recommend for oily skin. It goes in very quickly, very hydrating. I love it. There is fragrance but it's not heavy, it doesn't linger, and it has never upset my skin, which is saying something. The moisturizing balm is thicker. It still has almost like a gel-like lotion texture, but it is much thicker. You're going to feel it really occlude things on your face, but this has always been a staple for me since 2015 at really hydrating and healing my face. I love it so much. Frank, you putting on a show for the peeps? Mm -hmm. I also want to say with the belief, this came in a set along with a sleeping mask, an eye product we'll get into, and the True Cream Moisturizing Balm for $28 from Sephora. Check out Sephora and Alta, they both have sets, but I want to call out if you are a Belief Moisturizer fan like I am, they are now selling on Amazon and it is direct through the company, so again, you don't have to worry about them being fakes. They have brought the squeezy tubes, which I'm so excited about, back for purchase full time. They're 2.5 fluid ounces and I think the set is like 60 to 70, but on prime day it was 50 and that's why I partook. They had these at Costco a couple of years ago and I really loved this format over the jars. So I'm really happy to see them bring that back and be available for purchase. So check that out. Make sure you sign up for emails on deals. That is such an excellent deal to me. Okay, the last two moisturizers are going to bring in two more ingredients that I really like to look for in something to help kind of rebuild my skin integrity back. The first one is the Super Healthy Skin Daily Moisture Lotion. Again, check out the Beauty Pie videos, but this is just a traditional lotion-like moisturizer. Put it on my arm here. It goes in very nice. It is occlusive. However, I think it would work for oily skin. If you're very, very oily, you might wanna reserve this only for nighttime. It also pills under sunscreen and makeup, so that's why I use it for nighttime but the peptides in this are wonderful. Just a building block of your skin. Can't say enough good things about this one in particular, but any peptide moisturizer I would put in that place. And then the second ingredient to get into is ceramides. They're the building block of skin next to peptides. Ceramides are very soothing for the skin. A lot of companies have products with them. However, my favorite ceramide product for all over the face is the Naturium Plant Ceramide Rich Moisture Cream. I have the small size. The small size is $7 from Target and the large size I wanna say is under $30. I'll pop it up on the screen. This, I don't know if I would necessarily recommend for oily skin. It is a very thick cream. It is very occlusive, but I love this at night. In the winter, this really saved my skin. It's heavier than the True Cream Moisturizing Balm, and you will feel the presence of something slightly oily on the face, but it really locks in everything that you've just put in with the serums, leaves you very radiant. I absolutely love this. There's no fragrance. It smells like, <laughs> it smells kind of weird, like the ingredients, but I don't mind it at all. I, I love this product. Um, once I use this up, I have another mini and then I'll probably be purchasing the large size. They also have a jumbo size. Love it, love it, love it. So ceramides and peptides, add it to the list. Okay, getting into eye products. Again, we're gonna talk about the Belief Moisturizers and again, ceramides. So this will come as no shock. The Beauty Pie Pure Ceramides Elastic Eye Boost Moisture Serum. It has the cooling metal balls for the tip. Love that for soothing, but the ceramides also help if the skin around my eye is having a hard time. I absolutely love that. And then I will top that off with the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. I love this. 
This comes in that set that I mentioned. They also have a very large size for $48, which is very pricey, but this size lasts me so long because you need the tiniest amount. That amount is going to be good for both eyes. This is very, very occlusive and calming. I absolutely love it. Again, that Napier's formula, very thick and occlusive. It almost feels like there's somewhat of a Vaseline quality to it, but without any of the oil, it's very kind of dimethicone, silicone heavy, but this really locks things in around the eyes and I, I just love it so much. Last and final product, hooray! The 10 Balm from Indeed Labs. It is $20 for a tube that is one fluid ounce. This is amazing. So a lot of people talk about balms on the skin. While I need moisture because I'm dry and dehydrated, I cannot overdo it or over occlude my skin because I'll be one giant zit. So I have tried a few different ones. I've tried the Hero one. I have tried the La Roche Posay Sika Balm. Those didn't work for me. This one, however, does, and it has a lot of propolis ingredients that are derived from bee honey, bee wax, all of that good stuff, but there is no beeswax in this because that breaks me out. She looks like this, a very kind of thick cream. This is going to feel even more occlusive than that eye balm that we talked about. It's very silky though, and it does slightly sink in while still living, leaving a layer on top. I will put this around my eyes, the corners of my mouth, over like a big indiscretion on my face. Wherever I need that extra boost of moisture or to seal in the products that I put on prior, this all day long. A tube will last me forever because I'm putting this on very sparingly in the spots that need it. This is a staple for me, especially in the winter. I really love this. Those uh, propolis ingredients are supposed to be very soothing and kind of Ingredients that are going to overall make your skin barrier more happy and healthy. So yeah, let's go ahead and wrap this video up and recap the ingredients that you should look for. That completes all of the products that I would recommend to someone who has very sensitive skin or sensitized skin. To recap the ingredients that I would look for, because again, you don't need these specific products, I would look for licorice root extract, allantoin, panthenol, green tea, snail mucin, peptides, hypochlorous acid, ceramides, propolis, and C-derived ingredients. I hope that was helpful. I hope, Erica, that this was helpful, especially for you. I know we've been talking at length about this in the comments. Yeah, I just hope that this was helpful. I know that when I was searching for skincare, no one quite understood just how sensitive and acne prone my skin was and my direct needs. So if you have similar skin, I know someone said that we are skin twins in the comments. This is for you too. I hope this is helpful. I will say, if there's anything specifically that you would like to see from me, please let me know down in the comments. I am collecting a list and I will be filming those requested videos because they're the most fun for me. I've talked about this time and time again. The reason I started this was to connect with people and share recs, so thank you if you're participating in the comments. If you're not, I hope that you will soon. If you're new here, hi, thank you for being here. I hope that you'll consider subscribing. Hit the button down below, click the notification bell. I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12 p.m. And sometimes Frank makes an appearance. You might be able to hear him being crazy. All right, I'll see you in the next video, which is a very exciting one. Bye guys.